start the sharing. Because all the articles. All right. Um, for you are the for your information, you are the only one group that requested for online practical class. You are the only one group. Okay, so you will have to create. There are several conditions that you will need to fulfill in order to continue with the online class. Please remember that. <laughs> Number one. Please be punctured. Because we are going to explain everything in the very beginning. I don't want to repeat the explanation again. You will have to make sure that you are punctured. Do not take for granted. That is number one. Number two, you will have to own your camera. Morning. 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 Please own your camera. You can go to washroom, no problem. But please own your camera. Good morning, Miss. If there is something wrong with your camera, then show me your face here in the lab. As easy as that. Fair, right? If you are not able to show your face here, then show me your face in the lab. You have to treat, treat this two hours time as you are in the lab, yeah? So you cannot, you cannot go anywhere. Dissu I think next week uh all works if there are any replacement classes from another subject they might be using this. So you will need to give me some time to travel from here to another location. Uh Jason, do you have two devices? Do you're locking by using two devices? Can you say a hi? Where are you? Hello. Uh, how shall I actually re okay, change outline? How many of you here? 
Okay, so you question. Chen Kai Yao, do you have two devices? Uh, yes. Ah, okay, so you. Hey, yeah, Kai Yao, you don't sing gang. Hema Dashini. Do you have two devices? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, okay, sorry, sorry. And also, Tang Wen Yao. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. I saw you. The green t shirt. How should I take it? Yes, you have double. Okay, let me share the screen. Book one. This is book one. Book one. Mm, sorry. Okay, I've uploaded the uh, latest weekly task. So I will delete the old one and refer to the latest one. Okay. The latest one, we have done the first uh, first week task. Have you found your articles? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Have you read and understand your articles? Do you understand your article? The content of your article? Not yet. Okay, like second Come back next week, physical class. Ah, yeah. Kidding. Okay, we are not going to use the article yet, but week three, make sure you read it. When you come back next week, week three, make sure you read it, or else read it, I will ask you to come back on week four already because you're not doing your work. You're behind schedule. All right. Uh, have you tried Mandalay? Yes. Find five, if you are able to find five. Because for those who are very slow, if I ask them to read five, they are going to die. So slowly, slowly add on. When I say five, then they'll feel oh, very stressful. They look at it as stressful, sleep, stressful, sleep, stressful. They feel very stressed. Every time they look at it, stress, stress, stress. Then no, abato, no progress one. Pity them. Okay, have you tried Mendeley? Install it, haven't tried. Uh, you want to come back again? Anyone try? Anyone of you try? None of you. Raise your hand if you have tried. Watch video only, but not yet try. Who has watched that video? Raise your hand. <laughs> Reason. Raise the <laughs> virtual hand, <laughs> not physical hand. Rest your virtual hand. Ah, okay. Oh, almost all of you watch it. Um, okay. Dashini, you should watch it as well. Uh, Jason, Hantambula, Tang Chonghang. Okay, you should try because you might not be able to connect it with your Microsoft Word. I'm not sure whether you have this issue. I'm not sure whether you have issue to uh, include this icon in your Microsoft Word. 
you try and let me know. If you have issue, then I will need to do something. We will need to adjust. Okay? If you don't try, it will be very troublesome. You are going to lose marks in your reference list. This reference list, you are going to take ages to do this, wasting your time to do this, which is not good for you. So Mendeley can save a lot of your time. Starting from next week, when you do your literature review, you need to use that already. Okay, let's continue. For this week, we are going to play around with your data set. So I hope you still remember your data set. And we're going to select, do something that is, uh, wait. Do I have a group that take up the challenge? You won, right? Is that your group? Yeah, yes. You won, yeah? Okay, uh, Yuvon, I will come to your group later on. You will need to create a Google Google Meet link, which can be used for 14 weeks and post it under the uh, group, for each group. Each group, I'm going to join your group afterwards. Okay? I'm going to join your group afterwards. So after this section, you, you will need to join another Google Meet with your friends. That will be your group discussion, but I'm going to join your group without your knowledge. If I go to your group and nobody inside the group means you're not doing your work, uh, then you come back to the lab and do it here physically. Or you come to the DKABA here. So I can see you physically do your work. Okay? Okay, uh, for all of you, so only the uh, team leader will need to pause it here in the stream. Okay, let's continue. Um, we have five groups, right? So you are in front of your computer. Please uh, follow through this. Let's take a look at your... What is this? Are this the... What is this? Uh, this, this is the article that we decided to use. Uh, I just posted there just in case. Uh, no, I don't need to, I don't need this list. It's okay. Let's choose one group's topic and we try to work on the, uh, try to look at their um, title and uh, try, try with their data set. Let's choose a group. Group 4. Okay, let's see. Group 4. Okay, Tiani, your group. May I know what is your, which one is your data set? Which one is your data set? What is your topic? Quality of life affect academic performance. You are using which data set? What is the number of data set group four? RM6. RM6. Okay. Let's download this RM6. And the rest of you, you can also download and try it out. Have you installed your SPSS or PSPP? Okay, a quick survey. Who has installed PSPP? Can you load, uh, rest up your hands? Who has um, installed PSPP? Not SPSS, PSPP. One, two, three, four, five. Five installed PSPP. Six. Okay, uh, lower your hands. Who has installed 
S P S S。Who has installed S P S S? I B M S P S S. Only Shinyi. Shinyi, when did you get your S P S S? Ah, no, Miss, I forget to lower down my hand. <laughs> <laughs> you will go to lower your hands. Okay. Um, I will suggest the rest of you to install SPSS. You do not have the uh, you do not have the uh, software. If you do not have the software, you will not be able to to do online practical class. If you do not have any software, you cannot do online class. You have to come back to the lab. Can you go to this get into PC? Get into PC. And then search IBM. IBM. SPSS. You go to this. Um, Get into pc.com and then search SPSS. Um, do you need almost okay for those who want to do advanced? Those who want to do advanced, please. Download this one, SPSS plus Amos. If you just want to do basic, then you use this one, SPSS, the basic one. 2019 also no problem. But if you want to do advanced, means you want to score higher marks, huh? then you will use this one plus Amos. Amos is another add-on. Okay. Uh, Miss. Yes. Uh, if I downloaded the the advanced uh version, if I want to do the basic one, still can, right? Can can, yeah. no problem. Can. Yes. Oh, so you are suggesting all of you, all of your friends, also uh download the advanced. Okay. Once you have downloaded. Okay. I give you. Fifteen minutes to install it because. During the installation, you will need to cut off your. Oh no, no, sorry, you will need to <laughs> disconnect. You will need to disconnect the uh, internet, and you will need to uh shut down or off your security, um security uh protection. Any one of you use MacBook here? Any one of you use MacBook? Raise your hand. None of you. Very good. Okay. Now I'll give you fifteen minutes. Please come back after fifteen minutes. That will be uh twenty five, fifteen, forty. Come back at ten forty because you will need to get disconnected. So you can lock out from here and come back at ten forty with your IBM SPSS install, or else we cannot continue the class. Okay? Come back at ten forty. Please try to install now. Uh, please leave this section because you will get disconnected from the uh, internet. But I will still be here at any time. If you have any question, then you log in and ask me the question. Come back at 10.40. Please do it now.
よしよ。Okay, zoom dia, zoom dia. Hello. Ni dulu apa, Ami? Ami. Oh, sekarang kamera ini hilang. Oh, berapa? Berapa kali? 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 Ber 一个小时不用捞热而已，刚刚是讲一个小时捞热不了。比较不错哎，这个这杯子。为什么我一个小时要完全不动？你要配歌，对，有有音乐的，可是它出不来。噔噔噔噔。啊，对。噔噔噔噔。啥用这个？我我要从我要从另另一边方向打过来而已。<笑>老师还没有进来啊！还没有进来呢，等下四十分钟进来再讲。还有他也知道我们没有那么快的。我没有带电脑哎，加辣哎。有。Oh my god！ 在外面哈，在家里。我没有带电脑。OK， 大。Hello。Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. 你们还可以 connect 回来啊？下载了没有？在录钉吗？啊？在录钉哦，钉。还在 download 啊？ Yeah. 还没有断。会会会走这样子，我的还剩一个小时。<笑>一个小时。也<笑>是这种事啊。现在错了，你们全部都没有 download， 我们不能做。会走哦。六百多 MB 不会走。OK， 啊、uh, ，SPSS 太慢了。PSPP， one， change to PSPP if next time your SPSS is still、uh, running. Oh, don't do it now. It's before you come back next week.、Okay. Try to to SPSS. Go to S、uh, PSPP. Yes, sorry,、yeah. stop your SPSS. Go to PSPP. 
Download. One point six point. Uh, sorry. Uh, point two. Yeah. One six two installer. Download the one six two. Installing this one, no need uh, to switch off or disconnected from the internet. This installation should be quite straightforward and fast. Whenever you join this Google Meet, you will have to own your video. I don't want to repeat this again. Yeah. Both. You install both. Good job. <laughs> How about the rest of you? PSPP, at least PSPP install. So you can continue the class. Those who have got your PSPP installed, please raise your hands, yeah? Okay. And together with Amos, Together with Amos, Chonghang, is your PSPP with Amos A M O S A M O S. No, ah. Eh? Mm, it's okay. If you need the uh, advanced version only, you will go. You 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 change your Amos. Mm. Okay, please rest your hands, the virtual hands, if you have done with the insulation. Want to know your progress? Okay, Chai Tan. This is Sing or Song Dan. Okay, Dashini Dan, Heng Yao Dan, and Siu Yen or Song Dan. Okay, you've also also done. So, Xin Dan, Hong Jie Dan. Uh, you won't as your group, as your group, going through the video clips of uh, Rapid Minor? Yes, I'm 
です。よしよ。ルボンヨーグループ。はい、ヨーグループ。はい。他们可以 assess 吗？我好像才刚刚 add 他们不久罢了，是吗 ？I just add them to the folder. Yongjin, Jackson, you haven't installed. Shanghai as well. Um, Wang Yao, da. Abdullah. Have you installed PSPP? Uh, yes. <clears throat> yes. Can you please rest up your hands? Ying Yong, Chai Ying Yong, have you done? Jason, Kai Yao also done. We soon. Okay, most of you done. All right, then we can continue. Let me share the screen. So we're behind schedule. All right, let's take a look at this. Just now we are at here. We are looking at group four. Yeah, their title. So you can download group four, which is um, which is six. Data set six. Okay, so you can go to classwork under assignment, assignment resources, assignment resources. You click on this link. Then download this data set for group four if you want to follow along. Okay, now after you have downloaded it and you double click on this, you should be able to see your PSPP open. Right? And then you have also look at these variables and choose your variable last week right which variable that going to involve in your uh, dv and iv then the title right um no you have to select your variable actually last week you just take a look at it and then uh decide which which topic that you want to do so group four Group four. Okay. Can anyone tell me what is group four's DV? What is their DV? Quality of life. No. Quality of life is their IV. Quality of life is their IV. Academic performance. Academic performance is their DV. Okay. So their DV is their academic performance. This is the factors. Ah, sorry, no. Factors is IV. IV is their quality of life. Right. Now, you will need to base on this data set that you open up here. 
this will be a list under variable view, not under data view, yeah? Under their variable view, you'll be able to see a list of variables here with the label here. Label will tell you the meaning of each of these variables. Now, can you tell me which one is representing the DV? Which is this one. Academic performance. Which questionnaire, each one of these is a questionnaire item. Which one will represent DV? The academic performance. You can just tell me the number one, two, three, four, five, six, variable one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which from two onwards, right? Very good. Okay, from two onwards, we have identified mathematics, science, and so on and so forth. So let's make it simple first. Yeah, I want to make it simple first. So let me take this first cumulative um, GPA. Cumulative GPA, uh, cumulative GPA means CGPA across all years. So let's say I want to take this. Cumulative across all year, right? So my, um, of course you can have more, but now because of the, uh, okay, for the exercise purpose, we start from one first, so it'll be clearer, okay? Now, how about IV, quality of life? Which one should represent IV? All of this currently on the screen. There are so many things here. Yeah? And uh, some, all of them, most of them are actually under health condition. Health condition, these are under the uh, income. And these are regarding their financial, financial issue. You have credit card debt, you have unpaid debt. Or not do you have your own stock okay so let's say if let's say i want to take this loans and credit card debts okay loan and credit card debts and then i want to also because if i have lesser debts lesser loan means my quality of life is good okay? and then maybe i want to take one health issue as well like for example uh past 12 months often laugh a lot okay this is regarding whether i'm happy right i'm happy uh, in my life so that is also about quality of life right so now let's say you have one two three four you have identified this four now what you need to do is to find out whether this all these are related with each other. Okay, so you will need to find out whether this is... Uh, I'm going to do it in this way so you, it'll be clearer uh, to you all. I don't have a white box here. Take some time to type this. So, loan. And then credit card, that's... You will need to list out this one, each one of you, not a group, yeah? Each one of you, you have to handle your own set of IV and DV. And now you will need to run an analysis, a simple analysis to find out whether... It should be Kabbalah, sorry. It's Kabbalah. Whether this loan is related to this one. Whether your credit card debts is related to this one. Uh, whether this one, your quality, whether your happiness will affect your CGPA. So this quality of life, IV, will uh, will be uh, affecting your DV, which is academic performance CGPA. Okay, clear? Understand? At this moment. Yes. No problem, yeah? No problem. Okay, good. Let's continue. The next step is that 
you go back to here, we want to double confirm whether there's really a connection. If there is no connection, if there is no connection, then you don't have to do the rest of the analysis already. So come back here, you go to analyze, bivariate correlation, and then you choose CGPA, my DV. Choose DV first, yeah? Choose DV first. This is my DV. Okay, click this button. Okay, I choose this as my DV. And then the remaining IV. Then you choose the remaining IV, past 12 month, um, past 12 month, love, often love, right? The quality. And then the other one is my credit card and my loan. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is under analyzed by varied correlations. And then you choose this one, flat significant correlation. Click on this. Then click OK. Then you should be able to see output here. Oh, I don't know how to enlarge this. So this is your analysis output. Let me copy and paste it back here so you'll be able to see it because you want to enlarge it. Now, CGPA is this one, right? CGPA, this one. This is my DV. And then this is DV. DV, you don't have to compare with this one, but you have to compare with your IV, which is this three. We want to find out whether they are related by through person correlation and significant. What does it mean by significant here? Person correlation is this one. Go to here and type person correlation. Look at this image. Okay, X and Y. When your X, your X is your uh, DV. When X is, uh, will X change when your Y is changing? Your IV, your factors. When your factors are changing, will your DV change as well? So this is called correlation, right? You don't have to worry about the small, medium, positive, negative, no. At this moment, we don't take care of the positive or negative and the value. It's okay, right? We want to look at this one, significant. Is it significant at 0 0.05 level? We want to take a look at significant. You check SIG, if the value is smaller than 0 0.05, you will have a flag here, A. A flag here means this one is significantly related to this. This one significantly related to this one. But this one is not significant. Can you see that? Often love or not were not significantly because the SIG is larger than 0 0.05. So this one is out. Understand? If this one is out, then I have to reduce this. I have to delete this. So now in my list, I have only two. The loan, the credit card debts will affect my CGPA. Can you understand? Yes. Yes, can. Okay, so I give you 15 minutes, one five, 15 minutes to find out from your own group, find out your own DV and IV. Each one, per one person, one person, each one person have to come up with one set of this in the next 15 minutes time. Now, you might have the same DV, you might have different DV. In this case, in this case, because this group, they have many DV. They have the, uh, you see, they can take the highest math level credit. They can even take CGPA, uh, CGPA for science. 
they can take CGPA for, um, sorry, Math Failure Index. So for each, each team member, you can have different DV or you can also have the same DV but different list of IV. Okay? Any question before you move on to your group discussion? Promise. Mm. If uh, we do have the same DV, mm. but, dif uh, but different IV is, is okay, right? Yeah, different IV, same DV. Sometimes you might have only one DV. It's okay. All right? Please on your video cam in this main room. You join your own Google Meet small room for a discussion. Now, and come back in 15 minutes time, which is 11.20. Then we will continue with next step. You must have this before I can continue with next step. Yeah, please do it now.
Okay, let's continue. Some of you asked whether you can use two data sets. Some of you asked whether you can use two data sets, which is possible. You can use two data sets, but you will need to do data merging. And you are going to merge based on the respondent's ID. The AID, not RID, sorry. Respondent ID. For each data set, you are going to see this AID. So you can uh, combine based on AID. Let's see. Um, data merging. If you need a um, guideline regarding data merging, I can share with you the data merging. Data merging, merge file. So under video re uh, resources. Okay, let's continue to the next task. Do you all have this... Um, one list of your ID and DV, IV and DV. All of you done with this. Please press up your hands if you have done with this. 
if uh, you have got your list of DV and IV. Please raise up your hands. You have done with your list of DV and IV. You will need to list down at least five to ten IV. Um, to 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 continue the next step, you just identify five first. Or if you do not have five, okay, you identify three in order to continue. Then afterwards, after you have understand the whole process, then you continue uh, to add on more into your model. It's okay. How about um, Dashini, your group? Xiao Yan, Xiu Yan, Zheng Yi, Xin Yi, Xin Jie, Zun Ho, Jie Shun, Yvonne, your group also not yet. In Yong. Okay. Uh, let me continue first because it's already 11.30. Okay, this will be your last section that you will need to um, pro produce in this lab. Alright, so those who haven't done, you quickly identify your IV and DV that is significant based on this SIG. Based on this SIG, search those IV that are related to your DV. All right, to start your exercise, please identify at least three, five or 10, or you can go up to 10. Okay, you can start with three. Say for example, just now we have this um, CGPA. Group four, can you tell me anyone is doing CGPA? Group four? Anyone of you choose CGPA? Uh, yes, please. Uh, yeah. Okay, you choose CGPA. Eh? Can you let me know what uh, what is the list of your IV? Uh, the help uh, S9Q10. Uh, the health help problem. Okay, health problem. Okay, what else? Uh, credit card debt. Okay, credit card debt. And uh, vigorous activities. Illegal activity. Vigorous. Vigorous. Yeah. Activity. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, this is your conceptual framework. I'm explaining now, which you will need to include this in your assignment, your conceptual framework. You just have to match your IV and DV and then make sure these are significant. Okay, these are significant, but you have done this. This is significant because you have checked it with person called relation just now. So no problem. Okay, you must check first, yeah, before you can continue. Okay, now next, let's say this one you check, this line you check, and this line you also check. Now, your senior did this, your senior come out with this, from social framework, uh, the significancy, they did this as well. In your classwork, you go to this um, assignment, assignment, uh, sorry, resources, journal articles. No, uh, sample journal articles. Okay, romantic relationship pattern. From this paper, this is what your senior did. They did something like this with a list of this one. Person call relation, all these are person call relations. See that? Okay. They did this for their report and then get this done in week 10. 
now this is only week two. You all get this done in week two. Right? Because you have all the data set from your seniors already. So you can quickly come up with this set. Okay? Therefore, this is not sufficient at your level. Not sufficient at your level because your senior did this in 10 weeks time. So what you, you, what you need to actually continue from the senior is that you take this. This is a list of IV and this is a list of DV. Now we are going to find out the mediator or the middleman. Mediator variable. Say for example, in this case, um, I have health problem as my IV, right? It will affect my CGPA. This is my DV. Fine, no problem. And you have also proven that this one is related. No problem. Is there any mediator here? For example, will the health problem increase my credit card debt? Will it increase my credit card debt? Will the health problem increase my credit card debt, which costs my CGPA to fall. This is called mediator. And you see that did not do this, but now you do this. Okay. You have already proven that health problem CGPA related by using uh by using what is that your uh personal correlation, right? So this is related. You have also proven just now that credit card debt and CGPA are related. Right? Because just now from here, you have already checked. So this is related to problem. Right? How about this one? Is it related? Have you checked this? Is it related? Uh, which group? Chia Yi, is it? You are mute. Uh, I haven't checked. Yeah, you haven't checked. And most of you actually haven't checked. But you already checked, actually. Why? Because inside this, when you run this, it's bivariate. It's bivariate means, let's say my, um, what is that? My, uh, what is it? Health problem, right? My health problem, health problem and credit card debt. Let's say this is health problem. This is uh, loans. This is credit card. You will be able to see health problem versus credit card here. It's somewhere here in your bivariate. But if you found out that, it's very difficult for you to look for it. Then you just rerun again. You go to analyze, go to bivariate, and then choose the two variables and then run it to see whether they are related or not. So your today's task before the end of the class, you must come up with this list. And then from here, your IV, from here, the IV, the list of IV, choose one mediator in which this, this two you don't have to prove because you've proven already. But you have to prove that this is also related. You have to prove that this is also a tick by using person correlation. Can you do that? Each one of you come up with this one set only. We we'll start with one set only. Understand? Yes. Okay. Any question? Uh, Miss, can you actually repeat how to check the which one is significant? Because there's a series of number right in the box. Which one should we look at? S I G. This one. This line. S I G. This line. Okay. 
Okay, let me highlight this. I'll be able to see it because it's quite... Okay, this one. Can you see that? Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm. Any other question? All right, if you have no question, please proceed to your own group discussion. Or you can also invite me to your group if you have any question. If I'm not coming to your group, then you let me know your group got question and go to your group and I discuss with you. Okay? Have you paused your link here? Can you post your link here as well, the Google Meet? And please come back at um, 35, 15, 11, 50. And we will have a wrap up before this miss the class. Oh, Miss. Yes. Oh, may I ask if I am using uh my group are using two data sets, so I need to merge it first, or I can yes. it separate. Uh, you will need to merge it because after you merge the data set, your respondent might change, and the significant might change as well. Okay. The group, yeah, the number of respondent will actually change your significant the data so you better not shift first okay
，呃，那种连锁店的，连锁店的。Hello Brandon, Brandon. Just now, Zhixing was talking about one is talking about his hour of snap. Is doing his media day, lah. Then, is, oh, Zhixing, tell me, I forgot. Ah, Miss, is, if that person is from Group Six, can you join our meeting? We have a question. Okay. That person, if you sleep at night, you will never get tired. Ah, that person, you will never get tired. 就不会一直耐骂。如果你耐比较多的话，可能有影响你的 C G P A 哦。就是那个耐 frequency of 耐是没有跌的。嗯，然后什么影响 frequency of 耐？就是可能他晚上睡很少，他就耐很多。哎，走，可能可以。哦，每个人要想。嗯还有，我想到可能就是哦，第一个 semester 的成绩也是没跌对了，然后，旁边一个的成绩也是没跌，也就是会影响到 C G P A 嘛。然后你第一个再考不好，你最后一个分加起来 cumulative 的那个 C G P A 就就变得不好。哎，可是没有人能得到睡眠哦。嗯，也是可以。像你要讲嘞呢，假如你没有健康的身体，然后你不能去。你少年，你少年。你认为你有什么想法？嗯，我在看着那的大神对象。
Bisa.昨天有点吵，随着小孩，邻居，晚安。God. Uh, 他那个 significant 要管吗？不用管了哈。他小过什么？小过零点零五啊。哈，这样如果没有小过零点零五，我们不能拿。Uh, miss? Uh, yes. Miss? Can I ask something? Uh, yeah. The, do we have to check the significance when we're choosing the IV? Yes, Does of it have to lesser than 0 0.05? Yes, of course. Not only you realize. Uh, uh, else we cannot choose the IV. La. Yeah, my dear. Uh, just to confirm. Okay, thank you, Miss. Oh, Miss, yeah. can you, can you, I'm from group 2, can you join our meeting? No, only you asked me to join. I want to end the class already. <laughs> group 2, is it? Okay, uh, after the class, yeah. Uh, la next time, don't ask me to join so late, yeah. Okay, uh, I will go to group 2 after I end this section. Now, I want to wrap up first, so I can let others go. Okay, I can let other people go. Uh, they don't have to stay back here. Alright, 
So we have done today, we have looked at the bivariate relation. No worries about the process macro. This is not within your scope yet. You have selected your variable, your IV, your DV, based on this list, which is significant. You must select something that is significant. I repeat again, significant, yeah? Look at this, must be significant. Not significant, this one, don't choose, yeah? Or else it will affect your analysis, okay? And then we have also... Um, Look at the conceptual framework. This is your conceptual framework. It should it should be it should look like something like this instead of just one line like this. It should you should have a triangle like this. Now you start with this simple one. Until you have to understand, once you have to understand, you can actually add in more. For example, you can add in something like this. Will this actually affect the credit card debt? And credit card debt affect the CGPA. Or after you combine with your friends, you might have more than this. Like for example, you might have um, further index. You might have more than one TV. Okay. And then you put something like this. This will affect your science sequence. And science sequence is going to affect your failure index. And end up, you will have a very complicated conceptual framework, which looks very, very professional. But before you come to this stage, please come up with a simple one. One, two, three, stop. Unless you feel yourself very, very confident with what you are doing, then you can proceed with the more complicated one, or else don't do that. Just identify this one, two, three component. Then next week, we will come back to test whether this path, whether this path, health problem to credit card debt to CGPA, whether this whole path are actually significant or not. Yeah, good. Because uh, now uh, you uh, just uh, test health versus credit card. You just test mm -hmm. this. And you just test credit card uh, and CGPA. You are not testing the whole uh, line uh, here. Uh, you are not testing the full line from health problem to credit card debit to CGPA, no. Now you are only testing between these two variables. So next week we'll come back and try to find out this whole path from health to credit card to CGPA. This should be your research. Okay, your homework for this week, before you come back from next week class, please find two another articles and read and understand article because your research objective, question, hypothesis, problem, statement, contribution can, can be found in your article. No article, I cannot explain. I cannot tell you whether you have did it correctly or not. Even you ask me to your uh, group, Google Meet, I will not be able to tell you whether it's correct or it's not correct. So you must read your article. Don't read article in the lab. You don't have that time. Got it? Don't read the article in the lab. Read the article before you attend this lab. Why? Because article is very long. Very long article. You will fall asleep if you read it in the lab. And you will not be able to accomplish this thing. Go back and watch this video, please, because we are going to use more functions next week. And for your case, for your group, yeah, your group is a special group. You will need to also install this. Because you are using your own laptop, so please go back and install SPSS with or without MOS. Plus process macro. Process macro is here. Process macro. So please follow through this how to install process macro. It's very straightforward. Just click, download, and then insert, link it. That's all. That will be your homework for your week two. Uh, sorry, should I put it as week? Yeah. Oh, because yours is the end of the week. 
Yours is the end of the week, so um okay, your your week two is end of the week already. So you bring forward to the next week. Please go, get all this done before you attend the class, yeah? Is that clear? Is that yes. clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Class right. Attendance man who's not in the class. Your help. Push me. Johan, is everyone here? Miss Ara is here. Chai. Yeah, everyone is here. Everyone's here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I've marked your attendance, so I'll go to group two, yeah? Thank you very much. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. Thank you, Miss. 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 Thank you,